at the end was, you know, if you really want to be with him, you have to learn how to cuddle really well. That's what usually, that's how it happens. Oh, hi! Hey, everyone, and welcome to Melodin Friday, where I give little to no problem, little to no effort in broadcasting whatsoever. This is Mr. Lecro. Thank you, Beryl. There seems to be a bit of problem of lagging, so I sincerely do apologize for that. But I go ahead and thank you all for watching. This is Mr. Lecro, and this is Melody on Friday. We get little to no effort in these broadcasts whatsoever. Thank you all for listening and watching, however you are watching, and whether it be live on Twitch for me followers, or whether it be through on the net, on my YouTube channel. So let's just go ahead and make sure everyone comes in neatly, gets squeezed right in. Y'all good? Y'all good? All right. Where we're here, we're gonna play Seattle Sounders taking on Real Salt Lake in what's deemed as Decision Day by the MLS. Why? Yeah, I'm not too sure. So go ahead and ask them. It's a uh, first year they're doing it, so uh, we'll see how the ratings turn out in the end. But in any event, let's go and show Seattle Sounders taking on Royal Salt Lake live from CenturyLink Field in Seattle. Alright, that's going to be a new theme on this channel if you haven't noticed or if you haven't really heard the second episode of the podcast, which by the way dropped earlier today, really helpful and thankful that it was able to be released today. It's been in the can for quite a while, so <laughs> just leave it at that. In any event, Real Salt Lake taking on Seattle Sounders here at Century Link Field in lovely, beautiful Seattle, Washington. As the sun sets, the sun will be setting for one of these two teams officially in the Western Conference. Those are your starting 11 for Seattle Sounders who are keeping that streak alive of maintaining a good record in the playoffs. They've appeared in the playoffs every season since their inception into the MLS. Clint Dempsey and Omafemi Martins are lining up the forward positions. They have uh, gone to be a good dynamic duo here. Injuries really plagued this club for most of the season. Everyone remembers, especially the Sounders, the nine winless streak that they had. Uh, they had like a huge streak where they only won one game against DC United and that was a late goal winner. Uh, and what I was going to add too is that, well, basically what ended up happening in, well, they basically ended up falling to the ground. However, in any event, here we are, here at CenturyLink, Seattle Sounders, Real Sound Lake, we're waiting for the ref to blow the whistle to begin the match. Any minute now, any minute, go ahead, thank you very much. Oh, wait, oh, and there we go, we're off. Decision Day, 2015 in the MLS. Holland now. Real Salt Lake coming off a uh, CONCACAF Champions League tournament play. Uh, I think they did qualify, but in any event, oh, there was miscommunication there. Evan Schitz is able to pick it up. Oh, Femi Martin's there for the long pass, but no one's there to pick up the cross. Can it be? No. Andy Rose was a little bit too late. Backerman now uh, coming in. Kyle Backerman didn't play in that last. CONCACAF Champions League tournament play. Group play was still in. Uh, interesting scenario ended up happening. All MLS, the quarterfinal matches are going to be MLS versus Liga MX. So, yeah, there's no corruption whatsoever. Accidentally dribble out. It's going to be Ron Salt and Lake corner kick. The set pieces have been a big problem for the Seattle Sounders all season long. They've conceded a significant amount of set piece goals. Silva will take the corner. Looks like they're all ready to defend us out of the box. Far to the tip of the box. Tyrone Mir is trying to defend it. Cross. Hymena 
trying to shave off Pineda from his back. And he does so. He's got a box. Goes for goal. Step on front. Nice block. It's going to be out for another corner kick. Silva really wanted that goal. Ross on Lake. He can go ahead and get some good positioning here. Another cross out of the box. It's been on Real Salt Lake thus far here in the first couple of minutes here in Seattle, Washington. Centrilink Field, Decision Day 2015. Chad Marshall, now the reigning, still the reigning defending MLS Defender Player of the Year. Dribbling up in the middle of midfield now, splitting defenders. Chad Marshall will he get his goal. Goes for goal himself. Oh my god! It got deflected. Seattle up 1 0. Chad Marshall saw more offended, was double teamed, took the shot on goal. It got deflected, but it still managed to go in. That is a very fortunate bounce for the Seattle Sanders. Right in the far post, threading the needle. 1-0 Seattle Sanders. Chad Marshall so far has the Seattle Sanders in the MLS Cup playoffs. Long pass to the back four line. Vasquez. Out to Plata. Femi now trying to squeeze away and he gets the possession of the ball. And now it's just over Femi Martins now by himself. Far side of the penalty box goes for no! Time me and put it on the comment section below as to how long I said that. That was a goal by Femi Martins. Clint Dempsey strips the ball and now he's trying to get a goal of himself. Looks like Seattle Sounders are well into the playoffs though. Just above the crossbar. Put a lot of force into the back of that shot. Nick Romando, slap ass Romando, gonna go ahead and take it out for a goal kick. It's won by Seattle Sounders, but no one's there to pick it up. It's gonna be for an RSL throw in. Beckerman now, loses possession. It's gonna be a Seattle Sounders throw in now. Over oh, Femi passes it back to Dylan Remick. Remick now, crossing it into the box. A little bit too far out. Oh, Plato was there to pick it up. Checks off the defender. Freiburg now trying to beat him to it. Freiburg now. Dispossesses Plata. Plata trying to regain possession. Pinada now picks the ball and settles the field. Pinada now with a goal from the last Miller on Friday. He loses possession. Glad. Coming in now. Oh, and he gets chirped up by Obafemi, and it's going to be a foul in favor of RSL. Oh, and a yellow card. A yellow card has been issued to Obafemi Martins. Refs have been pretty strict with Seattle Saunders here in Melbourne on Friday. I don't think that was too much. That wasn't called for for a yellow card. Might have been a talking to. Who knows? 
In the event, it's going to be a corner for RSL. Stefan, Stefan Fry just lets it go. Yes, I was a bit choking there. I was choking for a little bit, but anyways, it's live. Who cares? <laughs> you can collapse and die, and no one can care. Seattle Sounders with a victory advance to the MLS Club playoffs. And depending on the results here, uh, will be whether or not they'll be playing against Portland or the LA Galaxy in the first round, which is quite interesting. Uh, both clubs, you know, very fierce rivals with Seattle Sounders, but in any event, you know, it's, uh, I wish it was for conference finals. It gets poked out, it's going to be a Seattle throw-in. Off the Alonzo to throw in. Quick one to Brad Evans. The U.S. International. Brad Evans weaving his way into the defenders. Finds himself in the penalty box. Goes for goal himself, but it gets deflected. Necromondo with a deflection. And goes out of bounds for a Seattle corner. Clap ass. Freiburg with the corner, very near post. Jaime there by himself. Chad Marshall, nice, trying to corner him out. Just possesses him now. Chad Marshall finding his way into the area, but no, nonetheless, more Holland gets the ball. Some great defense by the Seattle back line. Security black and Stefan Fry kicks it out of there. Clears it near the midfield. Kavita picks it up now. And a battle with Freiburg. Freiburg wins. Freiburg. Splitting defenders. Oh, but Femi was calling for it. No dice. No dice. This is Millet and Friday. Glad you can be here with us. I am Mr. Lecro. I do this every Friday. It's for Millet and Friday where I give little to know in front of these broadcasts whatsoever. Uh, so far since the inception of Millet and Friday, that's been basically, uh, you know, just FIFA. Oh, hold on here. Oba Femi Martins now with a yellow card. Goes for goal. The top of the key. No. And it's a beautiful clearance. Kyle Beckman picks it up by RSL. Saving the corner kick, although it got dispossessed by Alonzo. Five minutes out of stoppage time. Alonzo Alonso himself gets dispossessed. And here we are, RSL going the other way with Morales now. Passing it on, but no. Jumped off. Mohala now on the far side of the field. Finding himself in the penalty box. Gonna be a bit dangerous here. Oh, he's put in the spot! Riff put in the spot! That's a penalty! Wow, that was a bit minor offense! Ref blew the whistle in any event, it's gonna be a penalty! Seattle Sounders! I've conceded three penalties. And it's in the corner of the post. RSL with a goal. 2-1. Seattle Sounders on top still. For the second straight Madeline and Friday episode, Seattle Sounders concede a penalty. This time, Stefan Fry was able to guess correctly. Unfortunately, just missed it. It's now 2 1. Seattle Sounders still with the lead, but now half. And 
ref quickly blows the whistle to end the first half. So let's take it to the gentleman producing the highlights of the first half. Boys, please go ahead, take it away. Scoreline awaits two goals to one. Seattle Sound is still on top of RSL. This is Melodin Friday, a special decision day edition of Melodin Friday. I am Mr. LeCurl, doing this every Friday. Thank you all for watching, whether it be right you guys watching on Twitch or if you're following, excuse me, watching it again on the YouTube channel. For those of you watching on Twitch, go ahead and not only subscribe to Twitch so you can follow up on any events, but also go ahead and go to my YouTube channel. There's some podcasts in there that have been posted up for your enjoyment as well. So go ahead and, and browse around. There are some Melon and Friday episodes that... Okay. I'll uh, just say that happens. Are still not here on my Twitch account. You can go and watch them again on demand. And any other video game that's all on there. Everything has been posted. Everything I do is posted up to this YouTube channel for your enjoyment. Thank you all for watching. Uh, on a serious note, I want to go ahead and... Uh, I know it's going to be a long shot he listens to this, but Ross Fletcher is going to be calling his last regular season MLS game for the Seattle Sounders. He is the voice of the Seattle Sounders, handpicked by Arlo White. Yes, the Arlo White that currently calls British Premier League matches. Arlo White used to be the voice of the Sounders. It was the first one when the MLS was introduced to the Seattle Sounders franchise. Ross Fletcher was the one who was handpicked by Arlo White, Arlo White himself. Uh, after a couple of years, I think it's five years, uh, Ross Fletcher will be stepping down as the play-by-play -play guy for the Seattle Sounders. Uh, it's been great hearing him, man, and, and, and I take a lot out of him. He's one of the reasons why I kind of started doing this Melanin Friday calling soccer matches, because he, uh, he's very informative of everything. He's, he just really takes really good notes, and he's a great follow, too. I was able to meet him once in Seattle for a match, and uh, very fortunate to be. The guy's really tall, <laughs> but really fortunate to have met him. And um, wherever he goes, man, it's uh, wherever you go, whichever club you go, end up with. It's, it's going to be a great honor. But I hope uh, whoever takes your place, man, it's uh, will be a great honor to hear his voice too. So Ross, thanks, man. All right. Now let's go ahead and kick it back for some Melody on Friday. There are some uh, more announcements that if you haven't heard it on the podcast already, I'll go ahead and announce them here on Melody on Friday. But you have to stay tuned for the end of the second half of this match. Seattle Sound is currently on top. Two goals to one. Let's go back to Century Link. The penalty was taken right before the end of the first half. Seattle Sounders now usually are able, to, especially when it comes to Melodum Fridays, can, can, uh, can get goals here. 
Well, Femi Martins takes the long pass. Gets tied up with defenders. Vasquez now picks up the ball from Oma Femi. Dispossesses him, but Oma Femi is trying to pick it up. Binetta now trying to act up on it. Seattle back line. They would help out. Binetta dispossesses the ball. Cop Beckerman now trying to create something here. Binetta weaving his way around defenders. Freiburg picks it up. He was going to go for goal, but no rough calls for an offside. Freiburg disagrees with that call. Well, let's see here. Yeah, he was offside. Well, by a foot. Very, very close. Stefan Fry with the ball. Just kicks it out of there, clears it out near the midfield. RSL seems to be playing a bit aggressive here in the defensive line. And another offside call is being called on the Seattle Sounders. Again, by a foot. It's a very thin margin. We're having a first sub here by RSL. Hyman's coming out. That is a surprising one. And in comes, it appears to be Martinez. Pinella picks up the ball. Now he's dribbling down into the middle of the penalty box. Goes for goal himself. Nick Romano deflects it for an out of bounds. It's going to be a corner to Seattle. Slap it. That's using your face. Fairberg. Setting up a play here. RSL wins the header, clears it out. Martinez now is able to pick up the ball. He's by himself. Some Seattle Sounders are coming up now. Tyrone Mears stays back in the penalty box. Two Sounders are there to crown him. Chad Marshall dispossessed the ball, and that's why he's the reigning MLS Defender Player of the Year. It's going to be out for a Seattle throwing. And then we have another substitution. Look, Mohana comes out. Becca will be coming in. Try to keep up, friends. Try to keep up. Quick throw in on to Pineda. Pineda now dribbles up to the box. Doesn't have that many green jerseys up ahead of the field. Alonzo Alonso picks up the ball now. Very good piece on him with his father coming into Seattle to watch him play. Hold on here a minute. Alonso goes for goals in the back of the net. He puts the Sounders on top. Three goals to one. Then he might have sealed the deal for a ticket to the MLS playoffs. Very uncommon for Nick Romano to go ahead and concede it. Three goals. As you see, Alonso took the shot from that first angle, kind of grazed the far post inside. However, Seattle Sounders still have the victory now. They're up by two goals. This is Melody on Friday. Mr. LaCroix here with you. Thank you for spending the Melody on Friday here with us. Wherever you may be, however you've been watching us, thank you for making us part of your Friday evening. For those of you watching on Twitch, don't forget to hit subscribe on this channel. Martinez with disappointing news that his shot was just over the crossbar. The refs are giving a corner to RSL. Don't forget to subscribe to this Twitch channel so you can go in and keep up with all my live broadcasts. There's some links down at the bottom for you to check out as well. Corner kick. Stefan Fry blocks it. 
Ozzy Alonso clears it out of the air. RSL has set up once again. Oh, nice. Nice double take. He couldn't shake off the second defender, though. Pineda now gets tackled. Pineda still down. I'm a family trying to get in a shoving match. And uh, no yellow card. Surprisingly, very, very surprisingly, no yellow card was issued. Ozzy Alonso decides to cross it in. RSL wins the header. Martinez now trying to shake off Chad Marshall, but Chad Marshall's doing a great job here. The back line is set up by Seattle Sounders. Tyrone Mears now. Trying to slide away. Becca now. Comes out of the penalty box, but it gets poked away. Brad Evans now picks up the ball. He finds open Femi Martins now. Trying to weave his way around defenders. Clint Dempsey's calling for it. Dempsey and Dem Femi surprisingly were not communicating well enough. Then it's out for an RSL goal kick. ECS trying to bring him back alive here. They know they're going to have to travel. Not what they wanted exactly, but in any event, can go ahead and still clinch a spot in the MLS playoffs. Plata now. Got confused, Ozzy Alonso! Nice takeaway! And the ball's still loose on the penalty box! Dylan Novak clears it out. Glad is there to pick it up. Oh, my family dispossesses him. Quick pass on to Evan Schitz. Evan Schitz now finds Dempsey. Dempsey trying to turn. Does so. Splitting defenders. Goes around Vasquez. Goes for goal. Nick Romano with a sensational block. Freiburg now crossing it into the penalty box. No one's unfortunately there. Ball's skidding away. And it's going to be out. A miscommunication between defender and goalkeeper. And the ref is calling for a corner kick. Very fortunate bounce here. RSL is going to use up their last substitution here. Kyle Beckerman is going to be coming out of the game. It's very surprising. I'd keep Beckerman in there. Scherzer is coming in. Going to go for another set piece. A goal. Oh, the family Martins is credited with a goal. Off the corner. 4-1 Seattle Sounders. That's just basically unfair. Three against one. Oh, the family Martins was there with to take the shot. Put the ball in the back and add Nicias. Look at the excitement there. They know how to go to the playoffs. RSL was playing for pride and all the pride has been sucked out. Oh, Femi Martins dispossesses again. Now he's all alone. Oh, Femi for a hat trick. And he does so off the rebound. 5 1. Between Nick Romando's legs. Oh, but Femi Martins has a hat trick. He adds the regular season. The MLS regular season for Melitor Friday with a hat trick.
Arsenal's done. They're done here. Long pass. Dempsey picks it up. Grounded on by four MLS by four Seattle Sounder players. Morales now trying to find something. Five minutes out of stoppage time. And I'll go ahead and do a substitution here. A double. For the last five minutes of the match. Mama Femi, Marius, and Andres Evan Schitz will be coming out. Lamar Nagel and Chad Barrett coming in. That's the hat trick goal. Standing ovation by the Seattle Sounders faithful. They know what's happening here. They go to the playoffs. Still playing here. Chad Barrett with the ball now. Coming out of the penalty box. He calls for a go and it's just rolled in. 6 1 Chad Barrett with a goal from the bench. That is it. Seattle can clinch a spot in the playoffs. The most goals scored in MLS Melon and Friday. You could say that's because of the Champions League game that they had earlier this week in the middle of the week. And technically that's an own goal. Chan Barrett just walking away out of that one. He knew that was a goal. <laughs> You can put it on the CONCACAF Champions League. That's the reason why. Well, it's a late sub, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. Brad Evans giving up the captain's armband to Zach Scott. All three subs have been used up. And that is it. The ref blew the mercy whistle. And if it wasn't for that penalty, Seattle would have gone on with a clean sheet. But regardless, they're heading to the playoffs with great momentum. Boys of the studio, show us some highlights of this great match, please.
one is your final score line here at Century Link Field. This has been a uh, great let's go to match facts. Great outcome for the Seattle Sounders heading on to the MLS Cup playoffs. Six goals to one and your Melodin Friday. Folks, I promised you all some great announcements and then I'll do some big ones here. Uh, the big announcement is based off of Halo, the video game coming out this Tuesday. This is why you should subscribe to this Twitch channel and my YouTube channel as well. I will be broadcasting a Let's Play walkthrough for Halo 5 Guardians. Yes, that is the big announcement. So go ahead, subscribe to Twitch for for you guys to follow along on the, on the gameplay. Um, depending on how things come about, we'll see how it goes. I'm one of those that are really interested in the storyline. So go ahead and and just watch and enjoy it. Uh, that's the big announcement. All of course, all of them will be go ahead and we'll go ahead and keep them there, save them on the YouTube's channel. If you can't watch an episode of Halos, then go ahead and put subscribe on YouTube. Go ahead and watch them there. I will be following up on them. You can go ahead and keep tabs of gameplay and then hopefully you make your decision for a Halo once everything is set. So I will be playing matches. From here on out, schedules aren't set. So like I said, please go ahead and, w and be on the lookout for emails, notifications, indicating that I am playing such games. There will be breaks in between, things of that nature. It won't be a straight walkthrough, but in any event, this is for you guys, and I hope you all enjoy it. That's the big announcement. I'm really proud of it. Really excited. I don't know if you guys heard it on the podcast, but I'm um, looking forward to it. I hope I get some new subscribers. If you're on the fence about purchasing Halo 5, follow this and you'll make your decision on the gameplay. Not on my commentary, because my commentary sucks. But I do hope you all enjoy it. 6-1 uh, is your final scoreline here for, from Century League Field in Seattle, Washington. Thank you all for watching Melodin Friday. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And also share this with friends, you know, I uh, go and share videos, pass it along, make sure you have a good laugh at my expense. I don't really care. As long as I get subscribers, you can go and thumbs down all you want. That doesn't really matter. I, for me, I just really want the viewers and I hope you have a good laugh. It doesn't matter the result of what ends up happening. Like I said, episode two of my podcast is up. Go ahead and take a listen. You can download it or just watch the video version. Uh, it's very easy for you to go and just load it up. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. This has been Mail It In Friday. I am Mr. LaCroix. Thank you all for watching. Next week, we'll see each other next week and see how things go out for the MLS Cup. Mail It In Friday will hopefully be FIFA, more FIFA. If not, then we'll just see what we can throw up, up on the board. Like I said, Leave a comment, subscribe, share, comment, like it, whatever it is left to do. Poke it, swipe right, or whatever, I don't know. Enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe on this Twitch account. Go ahead and also subscribe to my YouTube account. The links are all on the bottom if you're watching this on Twitch, or if you're watching this on YouTube, you already subscribed to my account. Greatly appreciate it. There's some links in the beginning of the video, so you can go and subscribe to my Twitch account as well. So everything is set for you guys. Set up for you in a silver platter. Just enjoy it, and I'll see you all on the other side. Peace.